Hey, what is up everybody? My name is JVH Johnson, and I'm gonna show you guys how to build a simple council table, just a few materials. It is a beautiful day here in Texas, so uh, let's get started. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need four two by four by eights and a 15 by 48 inch project panel. All right, so your first step is going to be to cut the two by fours down into two by twos. If you'd like, you can just go with the easier route and just buy two by twos, but instead of four, you need eight. Also, my recommendation would be to just cut these two by fours in half, uh, just so you don't struggle on the table saw. Your second step is going to be running the boards through the thickness planer. This is going to take off all the rough edges. Alright, after running these 2 by 4s or previously 2 by 4s through the table saw and the thickness planer, now we have 2 by 2s for a lot cheaper. So now we're going to take this to the miter saw and cut these down to length. Using your miter saw, you're going to be cutting 4 33 inch boards, 4 45 inch boards, four 12 and 7 8 inch boards, and two 36 and a half inch boards. And those are gonna be mitered by 35 degrees. set my table saw blade to 35 degrees. I did this so that I can cut angles into my 36 and a half inch boards. Before the assembly process, I want to clean up shop a bit. This is always a good process to add in between steps while you're building. I added in this illustration so it can give you guys a visual of what the assembly process is going to look like. So your first step, you're going to take two of the 33 inch boards and two of the 12 and 7 eighths inch boards and attach those together. For me, I use pocket hole screws with my Craig jig, but you guys can attach it any way you'd like. Next, you'll take your two 45 inch boards and attach the two previous frames that you created. Then you'll take your 36 and a half inch boards and attach those to the 45 inch boards to create a triangle look. Next, you'll take your remaining boards, which will be 45 inch boards, and add those to the top for stability.
right guys, assembly is done. Um, now it's time to make this thing look pretty. For this step, you could go with whatever you like. I'm going with a gray bottom and a natural top. Never used that color combination before, but we're gonna see how it looks. Hope it turns out good. Um, yeah, so painting and staining. Everybody knows that's my favorite thing. I did end up going with a golden oak stain just because I am obsessed with that color but you guys for this can go with any color you would like. This feed and wax wood polisher. You guys can go with whatever finish you'd like. This has just been a finish I've been wanting to try. Now for this, I definitely overdid it with the amount of wax that I was putting on the wood, but it really smelt good. So yeah. Lastly, we're going to attach our tabletop to the frame, and just like that, your table is done. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. If you feel inspired and end up building this table, you can feel free to share that with me on Facebook or Instagram. There are so many styles that you can go with with this table, so many colors, so many stains that you can switch up. So I'm excited to see your guys' creativity. Let me know in the comments what you want me to build next and uh, till next time.